Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to reapply the thermal paste on your laptop CPU and GPU. I have here with me my Lenovo ThinkPad T580, which I actually repasted a few months ago. That allowed the CPU core temperatures to go down by around 2 or 3 degrees. I'll have my before and after results somewhere on the screen here. But as you can see, the first and second CPU cores are always a degree or two higher than the rest. By reapplying the thermal paste today, I hope to get the temperatures more even. I'll be using Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut in this video, but there are other great options out there. Aside from this, you're going to need the screwdriver set to open your laptop, some alcohol solution to clean the CPU and GPU, and some lint-free paper towels to help you with the job. So without further ado, let's get to it! If your laptop has one, remove the external battery. Next, go into your BIOS settings to disable the internal battery. I've had someone comment on one of my videos why I always include this step, but I also had someone comment that he wished he saw my videos first before frying his backlight fuse. Always make sure you don't skip this step when working on your laptop. We go to power and disable built-in battery. There you go. Press the power button a few times to make sure there's no power left in there. And now we can proceed with opening the laptop up. On the ThinkPad T580, there are 8 screws holding the lower cover down. It might be different for your laptop, so make sure to always consult the factory service manual for specific instructions. You go. Now I know that we already disabled the internal battery, but just to be safe, let's remove the internal battery plug right here. There you go. And the heat transfer interface for the CPU and GPU are usually connected to the fan. So you can see the CPU here, here's the GPU. Both pipes go to the fan right here. So to access all of these, we have to first disconnect the fan plug and remove the fan itself. So we have one screw here, two screws here, and four screws here on the CPU. So let's go ahead and remove that. So once we have all the screws loose, carefully lift up the fan assembly right here. And here you see there's thermal paste on the copper parts as well, so we'll have to clean that up. Let's set this fan aside for the moment. And there's thermal paste here on the CPU and here on the GPU. Now I've gotten some comments before that there isn't supposed to be any thermal paste on this small rectangle right here, but that's how I found it from the factory, so I just followed suit. Since we'll be applying new thermal paste, we'll have to clean this up with alcohol solution as well. Before doing anything else, wipe off whatever you can with the dry, lint-free towel. This is fairly new, so there's not much caked up thermal paste right now. Do the same for the CPU. Wiping with a dry paper towel actually got us more than halfway there. Now we'll clean it with some alcohol solution. So what you want to do is put some alcohol solution here and just do light dabs over what remaining thermal paste there is just to soften them up. So once everything's nice and clean, we can then proceed with cleaning the copper parts on the fan assembly. Same process here, wipe it with a dry towel first. 
Should get us more than halfway there. Once you're done with that, wipe it down again with some alcohol solution. Once the contact plates are nice and clean, we're ready to apply new thermal paste. So carefully and evenly apply the new thermal paste. This tube of Thermal Grizzly fortunately comes with this applicator right here. Now I suspect I put too little thermal paste the last time I did it, so I'll try to do more even, substantial spread this time around. Next up, we apply thermal paste on the CPU. I found this nice video talking about how your thermal paste should look like, so I'll put that in a card somewhere up there in the screen in case it'll be useful for you guys. Once everything looks nice and even, we can go ahead and reinstall the fan assembly. Coverage doesn't have to be perfect rectangles and squares because the tight interface and the contact plate on the fan assembly will usually squish and spread the thermal paste around evenly. Slowly lower the fan assembly over the CPU and GPU to make sure there's no side-to-side -side movement once you get contact. Start the CPU and GPU screws first, just to make sure you don't have the contact plate sliding around, wasting thermal paste. You can leave the big fan screw here for last. Once everything's properly started, we can go ahead and lock them in. Same goes for the GPU. Next, we reconnect the fan cable. Go. And finally, we reconnect the internal battery cable. Push it in. There you go. Now that we're done with everything, it's time to reinstall the lower cover. and reactivate the internal battery by connecting a power source. Lastly, don't forget to reinstall the external battery. My laptop has been idling for quite some time now since I booted it back up, and my suspicion seems to be right that the thermal paste I applied the first time around was a little too thin. I still seem to have some sort of hotspot going on with the first two CPU cores, but I was able to bump the idle temperatures down another 3 or 4 degrees Celsius. Lower temperatures, lower fan use, potentially longer battery life. I'll take that. I hope you found this video useful and that your results are equally as awesome. If you want to see more of these, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. I promise not to spam your feed with clickbaity thumbnails and the like. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.